Welcome to this complete yoga practice. My recommendation would be to do this practice once or twice per week, whenever you have a little bit more time. Without further ado, let's get started in a seated position. So once you are there, you can close the eyes or soften the gaze. Imagine you want to elongate your spine up towards the sky. So reaching the top of your head up, perhaps rolling the shoulders up, back and down a few times. Softening the shoulders down. Shoulder blades can go closer, slightly closer to one the other to create a little bit more space for the lungs to breathe in oxygen. And with the next inhalation, you can imagine or feel how your lungs are expanding all directions. So not only your front, but also the sides of your ribs and perhaps slightly the back of your ribs are gently rising with inhalation. Gently expanding and with the exhalation, gently softening. A couple of more times, bringing this awareness to the breath with inhalation expanding, with the exhalation softening and contracting. One more time with inhalation, chest, belly, sides of your ribs expand with the exhalation softening. Open your eyes if you had your eyes closed. Now let's do the half circles with the head. So dropping your chin towards the chest and one ear towards one shoulder and going to the other side. Whenever you drop the ear towards the shoulder, maybe you look up or maybe the chin wants to look up as well. So elongating the side of the neck. Slowly coming back into the center, lift the head back up. And now we will do circles with our belly. So imagine you want to push the belly, the chest forward, perhaps supporting yourself on your knees and then rounding the spine, maybe chin goes towards the chest. So belly or spine circles to one direction first. While we do the circles, also really feel your inhalations through the nose. Feel the exhalations. Let's swap side to the other direction. So my invitation is to breathe through the nose throughout the whole practice. So gentle, calm inhalations. This way we can let our nervous system know that we are safe in the moment. So our nervous system enjoys when we breathe through the nose.
slowly come back into the center. Now lower the left fingertips down, lift the right arm up, first reach up, lengthen, and then side bend to the left. Let's stay here for one inhalation and exhalation. And swapping side. Come back into the center, spine twist to one direction, looking back behind you. And to the other direction. Come back into the center. Now extend your left leg to the side and your right leg can still be bent. Flex your left foot. With inhalation, reach the arms up. Now lower the left hand somewhere on the left thigh and then side bend once again to the left. Inhale here. And coming back to the other side. So bend your left leg, extend your right leg. Inhale, lift both of your arms up, flex your right foot. Lower the right hand somewhere on the right thigh or on the ground, wherever it's comfortable, bending to the right. And whenever we bend, also make sure that you are, for example, here when we bend to the right, that your left sit bone is on the ground. Sometimes it wants to lift up. Inhale here. Exhale. Coming back into the center. Now let's extend both of your legs in front of you, flexing your feet and once again lifting the arms up and gentle forward fold. Your feet are flexed, perhaps pushing your heels slightly down into the ground, creating some activation in the legs. Let's meet in a squat position. So make your way over there. And let's roll the wrists to one side. So these can be called magnetic wrists. Rolling them to one direction. Swapping side to the other direction. Interlace the fingers and now roll the wrist again to one side and change to the other. And now doing this all almost like a wave with the wrists. So it's always nice to take some time to warm up the wrists as we're bearing the, quite a lot of weights on the hands during the yoga posture class, shaking the hands and let's extend your legs meeting in the forward fold. You can bring your feet slightly closer to one the other and now bend your left leg, lower the left forearm on the left thigh, inhale, the right arm reaches up. You can stay here if you'd like more intense, lower the left fingertips on the ground while you reach the right arm up. As I always say, one variation is not better than the other, and then we choose what feels best in the moment. Inhale here, and exhale, swapping sides, bending the right leg, right forearm on the right thigh, inhale, left arm reaches up. And again, here we have an option to lower the right fingertips down, if that feels comfortable. One more breath. And with your exhalation, meeting in the forward fold. Rolling one vertebra at a time and meeting in the standing position. Your head will be the last to rise. 
And if you're not in the front of your mat, step into the front of your yoga mat. We will go through a sun salutation now, and there are many variations, and I will show you my favorite one. So with inhalation, lift the arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, extend your back, open up your chest. Exhale, hands down, we bring the right leg back, lower the right knee down, inhaling, arms reach up. Inhalation here. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale. And on your exhalation, lowering your body down. And with inhalation, lifting your chest up. Inhale. Downward looking dog on the exhalation. Lift your right leg high and right foot into the front of the mat. Left foot follows. Bend the knees with inhalation. Lift your arms up. Exhale, arms by the side of the body. With inhalation, arms up once again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, hands down. Now your left foot goes back. Lower the back knee down. Inhale, arms reach up. Lower hands down, plank pose. Lowering your body down. Inhaling, lifting the chest up. Downward looking dog. And with inhalation, lift your left leg high, left foot into the front of your mat, right foot follows, bending the knee slightly, inhale, arms up, exhale, hands by the side of the body, standing on your left foot, let's meet in the tree pose, so maybe your foot on the thigh, on the calf, on the knee, wherever it's comfortable, and then extend the arms up. Balancing over here. If you'd like to challenge yourself, maybe lifting your heel up one or two millimeters, staying on the tippy toes. It's okay to wobble, that's perfect. We can use our arms for support, for balance. Inhale here. And then warrior three, your right leg pushes back arms by the side of the body. Inhalation. On the exhalation, standing splits, lower the hands down. Start to lift your right leg high. Inhale here. And then right knee wants to touch your left calf or left ankle. And then bring the right leg back up. Two more times to touch. And last time touch, bring it back up. And high lunge, lower the right foot. Inhale, arms reach up. Let's open up into the warrior two. Arms reaching to the sides. Let's extend the front leg and bend it. Two more times, extend it, bend, one more. Lower the left forearm on the left thigh, inhale, the right arm reaches up. And breathing over here through the nose. And then we will be lowering the right hand down, meeting in the spine twist. Maybe opening your left foot slightly to the left side. Left arm reaches up. Mm 
Let's make five big circles with the left hand. And now shuffle your left foot slightly more into the middle of your mat. Toes are facing to the side. And we meet in this variation of a plank position. Engage your right glute, lifting and reaching the hips up. Pushing your left foot down onto the mat. Now we will try to lift the left foot and put it on top of your right foot. Beautiful. It's okay to fall out of this transition. Not a problem at all. Inhale here. And on the exhalation, plank pose. Lower your body down. We lift the arms by the side of your body, lifting the feet, the legs up as well. Remembering that we are breathing. And what I mean by that, bringing the awareness back to the breath, back to this moment. Downward looking dog. Let's lift your right leg high and then right knee to touch your right elbow. Bring your right leg back up. Right knee to touch your left elbow. Bring it back up and fall in triangle. Right foot goes in between the left hand, left foot. We lift the left arm up. Inhale here. And on the exhalation, lower the hips down. Maybe open up your left foot more to the left side. Side bend to the left. We meet back into a downward looking dog. Perhaps we meet in a free legged downward looking dog. So we lift ourselves back into fallen triangle, then lifting the right leg back up and right foot into the front of your mat. Left foot follows. Bend the knees slightly. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, arms by the side of the body. Close the eyes or soften the gaze. Standing tall, chest is open. Feeling the breath. Open the eyes if they were closed. Standing on the right foot. And let's lift the left foot on the right thigh or wherever it's comfortable. Reaching the arms up. So growing tall like a tree. An option is to come on to the tippy toes, maybe lifting one millimeter your heel. Again, it's okay, it's absolutely perfect. And even encouraged to wobble. I think that's how the body can be adapting and growing and learning. We don't need perfection. Breath in, lower the heel down if it was up. And warrior three, pushing the left leg back. Arms by the side of the body. Lower the hands down, standing splits. Left leg goes as high as we can. Inhalation first. And exhale, your left knee wants to touch the calf or the ankle. And we bring it back up to touch again, bring it back up. Last time to touch, bring it back up. And high lunge, lower the left leg back, inhaling arms, reach up. A 
Let's open up into the warrior two. Extending your front leg and bending. Two more times. And then lower the right forearm down on the right thigh. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Straight line on the left side of the body. One more breath here. And then lower the left hand down, spine twist. Open up your right foot, maybe slightly to the right side. The right arm reaches up. Let's make five big circles with the right arm. And then your right foot goes more into the middle of the mat. Toes, all the toes are facing to the right into this variation of the side plank. Squeeze the left glute, reach the hips up, push the ground with your right foot. Let's lift your right leg, put it on top of your left foot for a side plank. Inhale here. And on the exhalation, plank pose. Lower your body down, locust. Lift your feet, legs, arms, chest up. Doing very well, breathing through the nose. And downward looking dog. Let's lift your left leg high. Left knee to touch your left elbow. Bring it back up. Left knee to touch your right elbow. Bring it back up. And now fall in triangle, left foot in between your right hand, right foot. Inhaling, lifting the right arm up. Inhalation here. Exhale, lower the hips slightly down. And now open up the right foot more to the right side, spreading the legs a little bit wider. Side bend to the right. We will be meeting back into a three-legged downward looking dog. So lifting your left leg high and then left foot into the front of the mat. Right foot follows, bending the knee slightly, inhaling arms reach up, exhale arms by the side of the body. A few moments of stillness. As a curious observer, observing the breath, observing ourselves, and at the same time trying to remind ourselves not to create any stories about that, but simply noticing, accepting, and coming back to be aware of the breath. We will meet in a crow pose. So meeting in a squat first for a transition and hands as wide as your shoulders or slightly wider, fingers spreading wide, lifting the hips up, putting 
the knees on top of the forearms, upper arms, and then lifting your feet up, maybe one at a time, or just playing with balance by tilting as much of our weight forward as if you'd like to smell something in front. From here, we will meet in a plank position. So an option is to play with transition, to jump back from a crow pose. So it's okay if, it's, if, it, if it doesn't work. For me, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So imagine that you want to, I have to fix myself first. So imagine that you want to push your feet back and then we lift ourselves back up into a little back bend. So sometimes I land the feet quite hard, sometimes a little bit more quiet. Again, everything is the process of learning, of exploring, no right or wrong. And back into a downward looking dog. Let's lift your right leg up and pigeon pose, bring your right knee to the right side of the mat. Hips can be square, lowering yourself on the forearms, if that feels good. Or maybe lowering your forehead down on the mat, maybe making a pillow with your hands. One more breath here. And then lifting your arms, extending your arms. And an option is to bend your back leg. We stay here. Or another option is to keep your right hand in the middle and your left hand wants to reach and grab the back leg. So left hand grabs your left foot. Here an option would be to bring the left foot closer to your glute. If that's comfortable, again, we never want any pain. Just exploring the movement, the body, the breath. Inhale here. And on the exhalation, slowly let go. Sit on your right hip, bring the left leg in front of you. Inhale, arms up and then forward fold. Similar to a tree pose, just now we are on a seated position. Inhale here. Your exhalation soften. Lift yourself back up. And now we meet in a cross-legged position. So I will show you my favorite transition. If you have done a yoga practice with me, maybe you're familiar with that. So your left leg should be in front. And now we will twist to the right. We will turn around 360 degrees. So your feet will stay where they are. We will help ourselves with the hands, maybe extending the legs, shuffling around, around, around and then sitting, lowering ourselves back down. Now our right leg should be in front. So you can try that a couple of times if you'd like. So always welcome to stop the recording, try that and then come back to the practice. Now let's extend your right leg in front of you. Left leg is bent in this tree pose. Again, inhaling arms, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. One more breath here. Exhale fully. Come back into the center, pigeon pose. Now the right leg goes back. Left knee can stay on the left side, hips more or less square. 
maybe arms extended, we stay like that. Or if it's comfortable, you lower yourself down, maybe lowering your forehead on top of your, uh, like your hands. One more breath over here. Extend your arms if, you were, if they were bent. Keep the left hand in the middle, bend the back leg. Right arm maybe goes towards the direction towards the back foot or grabs it. And an option is to bring the right foot towards the right hip. Inhale here, exhale, one more time, breath in, and on the exhalation, lower the right foot down, we meet in a puppy pose, left knee goes back, hips above your knees, extending the arms in front of you, melting your heart, your chest down onto the mat. In yin yoga, this is called melting heart or in active yoga classes, usually people say puppy pose. So we imagine that we want to stretch the armpits. We stay here or another option, if you'd like to intensify the stretch, bend your arms, bend your elbows, as if with your thumbs you'd like to touch the lower neck. One breath over here, exhale, extend the arms if they were bent and now lower your belly down on the ground. We will go into a pec stretch, so open up your right arm as 90 degrees, as a half cactus, lifting your left leg, bringing the left foot back, maybe lowering your head down on the ground and here we want to explore the stretch in the front right chest. An option would be to bend your knees and have them bent, one on top of the other, or sometimes people prefer to have the left foot going more back. You can support yourself with the left hand, or another option to intensify the stretch would be to bring the left hand back. Take an inhalation. Exhale. One more time, exhale, coming back into the center slowly, open up your left hand, left arm 90 degrees, half cactus, and twisting now to the other direction. Now exploring the stretch on the left front chest. Again with your legs, maybe knee on top of the other. Or maybe the right foot goes back to intensify the stretch. Or even if you'd like to intensify it more, the right hand can go back. I prefer to have my right hand on the ground for the support. So I could relax my body as much as I can. But again, as always, no right or wrong. We choose what feels best for us in the moment. And I think this is the most advanced yoga practice is when we listen to ourselves with kindness, with curiosity. One more inhalation. Exhale, slowly come back into the center. Lower your forehead on top of your hands and gently shuffle your hips to the left, to the right, relaxing your lower back. 
Now we will meet laying on our backs, so make your way over there. Extending your left leg, hugging your right knee towards your chest. First, shuffle your hips to the right, and then we twist the right leg to the left, spine twist. Maybe you look to the right side. Both shoulders are reaching the ground. One more option would be to bend the bottom leg and catch it with your right hand. And another option, if you'd like to go into this pretzel position, would be to extend your left, right leg. Inhale here. And then untangle yourself, extend the right leg on the ground, hugging your left knee towards the chest. First shuffle to the left side, the hips, and then left knee goes to the right. Maybe we look to the opposite direction. Both shoulders stay on the ground. Here an option is to extend the left leg if you would like to intensify the stretch. Or another option is to bend the bottom leg and catch it with your left hand. Again, it's not necessary just as an option. One more breath over here and come back into the center. Hug your knees towards the chest and happy baby position, opening the legs wide, knees bent 90 degrees, feet parallel to the sky. You can gently rock, rock to the left, to the right. Come back into the center and then we meet in Shavasana, extending the legs or actually keeping them bent, again, whichever you prefer. And now putting your hands next to your ribs. And for a couple of moments, we will feel how the ribs are expanding all directions with inhalation. And then gently softening with the exhalation. Four more cycles, inhaling, expand. Going on your rhythm, nowhere to hurry. So with your palms feeling the ribs expand with inhalation. And then let go of this focus, maybe opening the arms wide as well, closing the eyes or softening the gaze. And just a couple of moments we will spend in stillness, allowing the body, the muscles we have worked so hard to soften. So please stay with me for a couple of moments. Feeling how your legs, your pelvis, all the muscles in the legs and pelvis are softening as if they're melting down into the ground. Feel your belly, your chest, also softening with the exhalation. Feel your arm and sh arms and shoulder muscles softening. Your neck, 
your face muscles, especially your jaw and the muscles around your eyes, are gently softening with exhalation. Allowing the whole body to soften while the earth is supporting us here in this moment. Let's take a gentle inhalation through the nose. Exhale on your own rhythm. Wiggle your toes, your fingers. Extend the arms behind your head. Stretch your whole body as if you're just woken up. And hug your knees towards the chest. Roll to one side of the body making a pillow with the arm which is underneath your head for a moment. So mindful pause and meeting in a seated position. Let's finish the practice with my favorite rain massage. So take your fingertips and gently tap your head, trying to cover every part of your head. Inhale here and exhale, hands down. Okay, so we're finished with this longer yoga class. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it felt good. As always, I look forward to read your comments down below. And I'm also very interested to know whether you'd like to see these longer classes more often here on my YouTube channel. If so, let me know down in the comments below. I'm sending greetings from the land in Gig Bayuri and I look forward to see you next time for another yoga class here on my YouTube channel.